great teams. More than 700 paddlers have gathered here on Tugboat Beach for the annual Kelowna Dragon Boat Festival. So could we really ask for anything better? No. How can you? Like, sun shining. Good looking lady sitting beside you, good looking man sitting in front of you taking your picture. 700 racers out there, how can you beat that? We started the day following Kelowna's own Valley Vixens. Our first priority is getting our tent set up, getting coffee into us, getting the lay of the land, AKA where are the beer gardens. Vixens priorities here. They kick things off with a little dragon boat tradition. Followed by much needed morning stretches. And hold it down. Then a little pre-race nutrition. Really? And finally, most important, the pep talk. Yes, man, I do! Good answer! Paddler, are you in it to win it? Yes, man, yes! Paddler, are you gonna win gold today? I don't know. <laughs> the answer is yes, ma'am! Win gold! Yes, ma'am, win gold! Six and six and six and And the Vixens are off for their first race of the day. It's pretty exciting. I like drumming. Do you? Yeah, I like drumming. I love paddling, but I like drumming. I bet I like drumming too, yeah. because that's the boss on the boat. Well, you, you kind of, and not so much on the boat, because they know what to do on the boat. You just got to time it and call it right, right? Kind of engineer the race. And be the and, boss. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> As the drummer of the team, it seems like you're uh, kind of the inspirer. Is that a word? How do you keep the team going? Well, they're a great team, so I just keep them focused. I keep them relaxed, I keep them smiling, I keep them happy. But what about in those last few meters? I can't imagine how sore everybody's arms are. What do you say? I say dump it. I don't care if you puke. Finish hard, girls! Come on, you got it! Finish, finish, finish. And the Vixens do a long, hard finish. Yes, they do. <laughs> As for the other drummers, Oh, this is the part I'm not good at. Oh my god, no! I just count down from 10, get them to go harder. In, in that little voice? A lot louder than that, but... Well, we should hear it. Oh. <laughs> Reach more! Come on, team! Do it! Sing it hard! Go for it! An inspirator is what you have to be. You have to, when everybody gets, when you get down here about 450 meters, you think you're dead. You know, all you're, you're worried about is, can I make it to the end? You know, and once you, the drummer has to bring that out of the, out of the paddlers without saying, you know, I know you're dying, but you will make it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hua! Is that good? <laughs> you want me to keep talking? Is on it? No, you just kind of, you just kind of scared me. Oh, oh, should I? Because every time I always say, what's that say? Hua! I'm a drummer. <laughs> Boat five, hold. Hold, hold hard. Hold hard. I'm marshalling the race. Madam Skinner, 
You have the race. So I don't say anything anymore? Nope. My control is over? Nope. <laughs> Not just Okay. It's almost too short lived. Sometimes the Dragon Boat Festivals are all about just kind of sticking out, maybe doing something a little special for your team, like coloring your hair green. Yep, always do. <laughs> So do you think it uh, adds to the speed of which you can paddle with that, that hair? No, but I think it adds to the team spirit, which gets everybody going through it. What's up with the, with the hat? Well, um, I, I, it's, 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 it's dragon tail, and I've been doing this for 10 years, and I've always been looking for the perfect hat. And I was in Vegas, and I saw this hat, and I knew that this was the perfect hat for dragon building. So do you think it's going to make you pedal, paddle? Paddle any faster than usual? Not really, no. Where are you guys from? Yay, Kelowna! Naughty pacemakers? Is that for a reason? <laughs> oh, they, they have their game face on. I can't interrupt anymore. Oh, it was originally a nursing team. That was naughty, perhaps? Where are you from? Lethbridge. Um, have you done this festival before? This is our third year here. So yeah, we love it coming back here. So. Yeah, what do you like about dragon boating? It's it's not easy work out there. It's not easy work, but it's it's a good example of like 22 people coming together. The best saying is 22 hearts beating as one, and that's exactly what it is. It's, you can't get a better sport first. It's a good individual team sport. What do they say about there's only uh, I can't some about horseshoes and hand grenades. That's why I don't usually do these sporty things. I'm not good at cliches. You don't have to be good at cliches. You gotta just be good at loving yourself and getting out here and enjoy what you like to enjoy. And I think that that is really at the heart of dragon boating, isn't it? Yeah. Try to get 22 hearts to beat as one. That's the whole key. We are Red Zero Roar! We are Red Zero Roar! Dragon boaters, do not power! Dragon boaters, do not power! All weekend long, the festival represents teamwork, fun with friends, and competition. But for one particular race, the event takes on a deeper meaning. In what has now become a Kelowna Dragon Boat Festival tradition, a special race, dedicated to those affected by breast cancer. It's a time to celebrate survivors, offer hope to those in the battle, and to honor the ones we've lost. Who are the flowers for, buddy? My grandma. And do you know why you're giving them to her? Because she's really special. And did she survive breast cancer? Yes. How do you feel about that? Happy. just came by and gave you some flowers uh, as a breast cancer survivor. How did that feel? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> How important is this part of dragon boating? It's the most important part. It's our battle and we're winning. It means everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How many, uh, so when was your battle? I'm 10 years. And, and does the prognosis look good? Or are you are you good to go? At this point, very good. Not so good ten years ago. <laughs> so I'm, um, you know, even more important ten years down the road. How old is Aiden? Aiden's seven. So if you hadn't won, he'd never know his grandma. True enough. You must feel so blessed. I am. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> In more ways than one. How did that feel seeing little Aiden give your wife those flowers? Uh, you know, it's, it's super. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm touched. 
You know, I've seen this ceremony so many times and it gets me every single time. Um, why do you think it's important? I'm crying. Uh, yeah, uh, we've lived breast cancer and it's devastating and, um, you know, it affects us all and uh, the, this event is super. It's been great for my wife and, and you know, what can I say? Thank you very much. I can't believe I can't believe they gave me one of these again. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's hear how you put these folks through their uh, their paces to get them excited about the race. <laughs> Basically, I mean, the whole Dragon Festival is all about having fun. It's about energy. It's about. Uh, you know, the, the energy of this type of environment. So basically, it's just get them warmed up, excited to go on the water, and it is a lot of nerves, so it's just want to sort of calm everybody down before. Look at us getting all cuddly. I know, right? How do you guys plan on doing? You know, there's still a lot of teams that are uh, pretty competitive. They are really competitive, but you know, I can guarantee you we are first in our lane every time. <laughs> Same things, do they ever mean it? You said you were gonna be first. In our lane. Sneaky, <laughs> <laughs> sneaky. Uh, how was the race? It was really good. We had a bunch of uh, paddlers from all over that come together. It's only our second race, and uh, it starts to feel like a dragon boat. It was just awesome. Good feeling. And you're the drummer, right? No, no, I'm a oh. paddler. Oh, you're a paddler. Yeah, I'm a paddler. How did it feel? It felt it? awesome. We felt the power right from the back, the push. It was awesome. Good race. Good venue. Oh, it's a great venue. My, uh, yeah. and, I, and I've been told to freak you out because you're nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Comes with the left. I forgot my uh, my Yours or my, mine? Uh, uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was the race? Oh, uh, it was good. It was wet and uh, refreshing and uh, exhilarating. Now, the other thing I like about your guys' is, uh, finish, of course, is your finishing chance. Ice, cold, beer. Ice, cold, beer. Let's hear it. Uh, ice, ice, cold, cold beer. beer. Ice, ice, cold, beer. beer. Ice cold beer, right over there. Woo ice cold beer. <laughs> so are you a paddler? I will be if I can have ice cold <laughs> beer. What do you think? It'll fit. It will say it'll yeah. fit. Yeah, right. yeah, that's a start. Hang on a minute here. Is that, oh wait. Okay, okay, there we are. Okay. I think I'm a paddler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Boat Racer? Maybe. What do you do? Oh, you got, I bet you three are related. Yeah, we are. I bet you know how I know that. <laughs> Everybody say, Freckles. Freckles. <laughs> so you think you'll ever be a Dragon Boater? Whoops, mm, maybe. maybe. What about you, Sweet Pea? Um, maybe, it depends, really. Um, yeah, I play on a baseball team, so I kind of like that. It's fun, but yeah. But don't you think you guys would all rather be on TV? What time is it? Beer time. It's 25 after. Are, are, we, are we done now, Kevin? Uh, this well, look at this, Kevin. That's a boy. <laughs> <laughs>